finale for the regular season, as well as for five seniors. Their last go around at McComb Fieldhouse with Clarion in the building. Let's go to 174 pounds where Jacob Oliver was dominant this afternoon. Here he records the third period takedown. Wins by major decision 15-6 to to move to 22-4 on the year. Getting the win there. Sagertown grad Cody Mulligan facing Christian Saquette at 184. And the first period takedown here helps Mulligan start things off the right way toward a 4-2 decision as he picks up the victory of 184. And then to 125 pounds, we move ahead. Cathedral Prep grad and Clarion's Jake Gramacki facing Lucas Rodriguez of Edinburgh. Gramacki goes on to take this one, having the 3-0 advantage, but having a point redacted after an unsportsmanlike to end the third period as Gramacki gets the point taken away for this right here. Finally at 141 pounds, one of the two active Edinburgh seniors on senior day, Nate Hagen, picking up two points to add cushion there to a 7-2 lead in the third period. He wins 8-2 on senior day by decision, but with Cameron Butler forfeiting, or winning by forfeit, I should say, 133 pounds for Clarion. The Fighting Scots fall 17-16 to close the regular season as they turn their attention to the MAC championships in less than two weeks. It's always good to have, you know, a group of guys going through the program and all the work they put together and the experiences they had and the the, uh, the overall rewarding factor of finishing as a, a Fighting Scott wrestler. It's a bittersweet feeling. Um, just all the memories that I've had here is amazing and uh, just glad I could end on a win in Macomb. I know all the seniors very personally and the good guys overall and the guys that are wrestling as a Mac definitely have a good opportunity of making it. You didn't know they're a little bit short of the rankings, but I feel confident that they could possibly make it.